first person we're going to look at is the natural person. The natural person in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, it says, But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. And if you follow me, I'm on page 12 in your, in your booklet. Follow me on page 12. The natural person. But the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. Nor can he know them because they are spiritual Spiritually discerned. Um, um, this natural person in your handout, look at A. The natural person is a person that is prone to live a sinful life. Remember, we gave you the definition of what a sinful life was on yesterday. It's, it's you are engaged in wrongdoing. Man, that's a great definition. You are engaged in wrongdoing. If you need a pen, raise your hand. If you need a pen, raise your hand. Somebody will give you a pen. Uh, if, if, uh, if you're engaged in a sinful life, that means you're engaged in wrongdoing. You're engaged in wrongdoing. So A is the natural person is a person that is prone to live a sinful life. They are prone to live a sinful life. Now look at B. The things of God are foolishness to this person. This means that the things of God are nonsense to them. They are nonsense. They are foolishness to the natural person. Now, look at C. Uh, the natural person is dead to the things of God. Who in here has ever been to a funeral? You've ever been to a funeral? I went to a funeral once, and, and this young lady, she, had, she didn't have a great relationship with her father, and so when he died, there were some unresolved issues. And so she wished she, she lived her life with a lot of regrets. She said, I wish I would have did this. I wish I would have done that. And her dad was laying in the front of the church and she broke down. She says, Dad, Dad, please. Dad, I'm sorry. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But there was no response. He was dead. He couldn't, he couldn't take her to dinner or he couldn't take her to lunch. Why? Because he was unresponsive. He was a dead man. The Bible describes the natural person as dead to the things of God. They don't want God. They don't want to do quiet time. They don't want to read the Bible. They don't want to listen to Christian music. They don't want God. They are dead to the things of God. You know, often I've been in ministry now for probably about 18 years. Started off doing youth ministry. And in my church, we came up in a small church. I was the youth minister. And uh, we were in this church. And we did some great, God did some great things through us. We had a monthly youth rally. We were taking kids to, to get away and to New Mexico, to Atlanta, Georgia. We were doing all these things. So me and my, my girlfriend at the time, who's not my wife now, we were, we were doing youth ministry. And so people would come up to us often and say, can you talk to my daughter? Can you talk to my son? And I will never forget this young man. This young man, he... He came in and his, his mom, she was so desperate. And she came to the front of the church and she told her pastor, she says, please, please pray for my son. And then the pastor said, where's your son? She said, he's out there. And then the son came up and the son came up and he sat down and they brought the leaders up and the pastor came and they were praying for this young man. The mom was crying. They were praying for this guy. They were saying, touch him, touch his life. God drew him to you. I mean, they were praying over this guy. And what I I did was I was looking and I said, let me peek. You ever been praying and you kind of open up one eye? I said, let me open up an eye to see what the response was. And when I looked at that young man's face, there was no response. He was unresponsive. He was looking like, man, hurry up. The game is on. He, he was dead to the things of God. Is that you this morning? Are you dead to the things of God? Uh, do, the, do the things of God move you? That, that's the first person. Uh, the, the natural person, uh, self, they are, they are, 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 are governed by, by the, the, the sinful nature. They're governed by the sinful nature, and they are con in control of their lives. They, 
They are at the wheel of the car. They're, they are at the wheel of the truck. They are at the wheel of, of the plane. They're in the cockpit. They are making the decisions in their lives. And I'm going to tell you this morning, that's frustrating. That gets frustrating and it gets old. You know, the Bible says that the pleasures of sin only last for a season. Man, I can remember at 19 when sin was fun. It was like, you want to go here? Yes, I do. You want to do this? Of course I do. But then it's, it started getting redundant. I, f- I start feeling bogged down. I, f- I start feeling like a slave to sin. Do you feel like that on this morning? The Bible describes this person as the natural man or the natural woman. They are unresponsive to the things of God. 